Welcome back to Julian's Magician School. I've got a little magical assistant here today. His name is Cabbage. Uh, he's my daughter's science experiment, so I'm duck sitting. And this is Cabbage's mum. I don't know her name, so I can't introduce you. Uh, Cabbage is going to help me with a trick, and uh, Cabbage, this may come as a surprise to you, but do you know that don't sit in your feed dish, come out here, and don't poop on the table either. He <laughs> did it before. Cabbage, this may come as a surprise to you. Do you know that I'm actually a better speller than you? Yep. I know you're only five days old. Don't make excuses. We'll give you a little test. All we need to do for the uh, all we need for the test is nine cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, Cabbage, here's how it works. We're going to spell the cards, the names of the cards. And um, if you get it right, the cards will prove you're right. I know, it's exciting, isn't it? Look, I'll go first so you get an idea of how it works. Um, I'll spell ace, because we might as well start there. Here we go, ace. A, C, E. Look, an ace, Cabbage. It's good, isn't it? All right, uh, how about you have a go at two? Uh, what's two? T-W-O. Very good. Let's have a look. T-W-O. Cabbage, you did it. All right. I'm going to do three cabbage because I'm a better speller, okay? Here we go. Three. T-H-R-I-E. Check it. Hang on a minute. Five. What? It's not how you spell three? How do you spell three? Oh. T-H-R-E-E. -E. Oh, lucky first guess, Cabbage. Lucky first guess. All right, I'm going to do four. Because remember, I'm a better speller than you, okay? Uh, hurry up. I'm going as quack as I can, Cabbage. Here we go. Four. F-O-R-E. Go. Hang on a minute. Five. Oh, oh, sorry. Four. That's not it. F-O-A-R. Check. And five. That's not how you spell four? Well, how do you spell it? Oh, F-O-U-R. Lucky second go, Cabbage. Lucky second go. I tell you what, I'm going to do the five. Because, check this out. I got a five. I got one of the other fives. I've got the third five. And I've got all four of the fives. Uh -huh. Here we go. F. I V E. Get. <sighs> All right. Come on. Back in your box. No pooping on the table. He's having a quiet time, so I think now's a good time to do the explanation. Uh, this is very easy. Uh, All you have to do is remember the sequence that I explained to you here, and you can do this trick. But there's a big point you have to understand about this trick. When you do it, never make the volunteer or the audience feel like they're the ones who can't spell. It's always you who gets it wrong. If you do it that way and you put it back on yourself, it plays about 99% better. If you do it the other way and try to make people look stupid because they can't do it, you'll end up looking stupid. Give it a go. You'll see what I mean. No, don't give it a go. Uh, Here's what you need. You need uh, nine cards. You need the Joker, five, ace, five, another five, two, five, four, three. Now, I remember this by this little rhyme. Uh, it's not a rhyme, but the rhythm of it. Joker, five, ace, five, five, two, five, four, three. Joker, five, ace, five, five, two, five, four, three. If you remember that, uh, any time you might be out strolling, if you see a group, this uh, plays particularly well for families. So if there were uh, kids who were 6 to about uh, 10, 11 years old, perfect for them. Perfect if they're with their parents as well, because they can give them a hand if they don't know how to do the spelling. So as you're walking along, you just go through your deck. You go Joker 5, Ace 5, 5, 2, 5, 4, 3. Uh, you can just take those off and use those uh, in your hand and ready to go. But if you take them off the top of the deck, you actually have to reverse the order. Because when you take them off the top of the deck, 
you're going to count them down. So you re-reverse the order back to that uh, little order I explained there. Uh, and you can do this in people's hands if you're out with no table. So we use nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember eye contact, always important. How you doing, Cabbage? I'm not making too much noise. So sorry. Watch out I don't elbow you. So all you have to do is go through this process. You say to them, uh, the cards will prove if we spell the words right. Let's start with Ace. For every letter we count off, uh, we spell, we take one card off the top and put it on the bottom. Ace. A, C. And the last card we turn up and show that that's the Ace. Put that on the table. And then you go two and you get them to spell two. So they understand how this works. T, W, O. Then you say you're going to th spell three because you're the world's best speller. Much better than them. And when you count it, you misspell three. I just spell T-H-R-I-E. T-H-R-I-E. And a five will come up. And you look at it and go, five? Oh. And ask them how you spell three. Now, they'll tell you straight away. T-H-R-E-E. -E. And you get the three so you put that down i forgot to mention every time you get a five you put it back once you've shown it you put it back under the deck just watch how i do it watch the video again and it'll all make sense uh so now we're going to go on to four right and remember i'm a better speller so i go four f o r e now of course i've misspelled it and i look at it and go oh that's not four and i misspell it again f o a r ah oh. And you put that back under the desk, answer them, Cabbage, how do you spell four? See, he knows F-O-U-R. And you go F-O-U-R, and it comes off the four. Now, the situation is you are left with five cards, just like that. And this is how you're going to show four cards, and that they're all going to be five. You simply take the bottom card off, and you say, I'm going to spell five, and look, I'm not going to get it wrong, because I've got all the fives. You take the bottom five off, show it, put it on top. The next one... Show it, put it on top. The next one, show it, put it on top. And the last one, you simply lift up and flash the face of the card. Then you go, I'm going to spell five. And with a big smile and a sense of confidence, you go F-I-V-E. And of course, it's the Joker. And you finish it however you want. Cabbage, back to your box. Told you I hate this trick. So that's it. Look, this is a great little trick. Um, it's actually quite commercial because it can be in your deck, you can set it up, uh, and kids and families love this. So if you're out strolling around, give it a go. All right, I think that's it. And so remember, if I can do it and Cabbage can do it, then you can do it. Cabbage, you're sitting on the cards. Off.